that's where I was like, that's where I want to put my work and effort to bring something valuable so the content that I create is valuable for you, for me, and everybody else watching. And I want to be inspired, not for my own content, but I want you also to be inspired from it. And that mentality completely changed my my entire, like Johnny Q, my entire self. The, the mentality of, okay, you have to make it happen now. Okay, you have to set yourself up where you're not going to fail. And if you do, who cares if you fail? Because if you know me, man, I don't care if I fail. I've failed so many times and I just don't even care. But like those failures and those like pivotal moments in my life where I've quote unquote have failed have actually opened a different door. And it's like, whoa, if I wouldn't have done the thing that I failed at, this door wouldn't have opened and I would not be where I am today. And so that's why we moved to Sparta. That's why I have this job because I chose to do more than just, you know, be be okay with with, with the life that I had. No, I wanted to grab life by the horns and just like take the horns off. I wanted to rip them off and put them on myself and be like, ah, oh, I got the horns. That's that's a weird, really weird analogy, but y- you get it. So th- that's that's who Johnny Q is. And from that, from the vlogging to editing, you know, people at McPherson saw that. And I was recommended through the grapevine, through the, my, my mentor and people that I've worked with for free, by the way, which that's a whole different don't even get me started on this because people who say I need to be paid for everything that I do, I would disagree with you. I have this job and this freedom and this flexibility and this amazing job and work environment because I worked my butt off for free for years. Like I'm talking five plus years. Okay. It was only my corporate job that I was like getting real money. If you want to think like that, the bass playing, there's no money in music. Again, that's a whole different thing that I'm going to speak on in these episodes, but yeah, like that's because I chose to work for free. I got this opportunity and I'm in a way better place. My family is in a way better place now than ever before. And it's incredible. So we're truly blessed and it's amazing. Okay, back to like working hard. So yeah, like I worked my butt off to create this vlog. And I think I vlogged daily for, oh man, I want to say, what was it? I think like almost 13 days. I was just so obsessed with learning more, finding new ways to film the same stuff, like finding, yeah, different angles of my of my wife and kid walking down the street getting Starbucks. Like, how do I create a story? And that's where I kind of started learning my craft in Adobe Premiere and as a videographer now. And I wouldn't call myself a videographer because I'm not, I don't have an Ari Alexa, I don't have a red camera, I don't have all these you know, big things, but then I realized it's not the gear that makes you, it's you that makes you, and so in that sense, I was making it happen, in in the midst of people saying you're not going to be able to do this, you're a photographer, you can't do video, why would you spend all your time editing when, you know, you can do editing on photos and do weddings and all, all the above, but I thought, no, like as human beings, we should be able to push ourselves more than what we can handle, obviously in a good and healthy way, but this was a form for me to be creative and actually try to understand more than just one side of the creative social media platform, which is YouTube. I had no idea like how to start on YouTube. I just did it. And time after time, like I just kept failing. And then at one point I reached over a thousand subscribers and to be, you know, ver not verified, but to be like a partner with YouTube and essentially to get paid on YouTube to monetize videos you need to cross the threshold of a thousand subscribers and I believe it's 4,000 minutes watched. So people have to watch all of your content at least 4,000 minutes, but uh, at least 4,000 minutes have to be watched on your video content. And I surpassed that within, oh man, I want to say oh, four, five months. And that's not like, whoa, that's, that's a lot. That's a world record because other people have done way more in far less time. But to me, that was like, oh, I think I have something that people want to see or hear. So why don't I continue to do this vlogging and YouTube channel, but also turn it around and actually make it about something I really do know, which is photography. And now video is becoming part of that. And now because I did all this stuff in early 2018, the door opens for a whole new chapter to be moved to a whole different state to do the work that I you know, have been kind of dreaming about, but I had no idea how to do a year ago. 
but now I get to do that, I get to do that full time and excel in it. And okay, Sarah and I both went to the interview. We kind of got to know the people at McPherson, and that day I got offered a job at McPherson Guitars as a social media content manager, which is I mean now evolved into like artist relations and doing a lot of marketing work with McPherson and a lot of cool stuff is happening. And so because I was, you know, not hesitant to do the work up front, which is getting into Adobe Premiere, spending the money on a camera to make these vlogs. If I hadn't, you know, if I was not able to do that in the beginning and if I was just scared, none of the rest of Wisconsin would have opened up. And I'm sure, you know, it would have in a sense where my mentor recommended me, but I would not have the knowledge to do video. So that's what I'm getting at. So because I started video in 2018 and dove deep, like I just, I literally just dove in like this ocean without any floaties on. And I'm like, I need to drown so that I can literally rise and actually do this. So that's what I did. I mean, you can ask my wife, I would spend hours editing. I would go from like four in the morning, I would go film do work, come back, spend time with the family, go film another vlog, come back at like 10, and then edit from like 10.30 to 3, 4 in the morning. I mean, it was brutal, but I just wanted to learn. Like I was pushing myself to know more about video because I know in the future, video is going to be the thing. Like everybody's raving about video, and if you're a good creator with video and editing, dude, you can get tons of work. So that's why I started it. And because of that hard work and pushing myself and making it happen, and mind you, we were not in a good place financially or nor in a good place physically, like as far as location in Minneapolis. We had this rinky-dink townhome, and it was just not that safe. So it wasn't like, oh, we were making really good money, and I can just go do these things. No, I was sacrificing time with my family, sacrificing time with my with my wife and kid. Like, it's just, it was not good. But because of all that hard work, all of that, all that stuff that we went through, it now has pushed us into a way better place. 